And they said, you smell so edible, you smell so edible. And they literally bit me on my shoulder. I kid you not, they bit me on my shoulder. You thought I was gonna work in a department store and not spray their perfume? You think I'm gonna spray my perfume every time I come into work? <laughs> no hey y'all welcome back to a new video if you are new my name is asia marie and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking on today's video it means the world to me so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my entire perfume collection and y'all it's a lot so if you have enough time to sit here and watch me discuss and compliment my babies that i have collected so far be sure to stay tuned and if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe before you leave all right you guys so the first fragrance that i'm going to be showing you guys is currently my signature scent so i'm going to get this scent out of the way so you guys don't have to watch this video all the way through if you don't want to but this is killian i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess i have put a lot of my friends onto this perfume even my boo loves this on me it smells amazing it's so seductive and gourmand and the marshmallow when i put one of my friends onto this and i told her the note she was like wow this really has marshmallow in it and i was like yeah it does oh, it smells so good they really mix these notes perfectly together it's not too marshmallow marshmallowy and childish it's very grown and seductive <sighs> this specific fragrance is not being discontinued it's just not being sold in the u.s currently anymore typically you would be able to find this at your local sephora ulta etc but they have only made this to where you can purchase it online i'm almost running out and i'm kind of getting sad i am kind of very this is my everyday scent so maybe when i run out of this i will try to go through all of my other perfumes because i do have a lot so uh, yes my holy grail my signature scent the scent that smells amazing and copes with my aura and just compliments me so well is princess by killian next up we have an og which is alien by terry mugler and i love this baby so much this was a blind buy and i got this size because it was a blind buy and i didn't want to splurge i feel like every girl it's a couple of fragrances that i feel like every woman should have in her collection this is one of them if you don't get anything i think you should get this this is a compliment getter this is one of my most complimented fragrances out of everything that i have it's very unique and you can tell by the name alien this is not your ordinary girl this is a girl who stands out a girl who isn't afraid to be bold and she stands on that this screams that perfect for date night perfect for clubbing perfect for dinner i wouldn't really necessarily well me i do what i i spray what i want <laughs> so i do spray this in the daytime but this is more of an evening and nighttime scent everyone who has smelled this was like oh my gosh what are you wearing what is that oh you smell so good and thanks to terry moogler i was able to get those compliments so like i stated if you don't get anything else go smell this sample this try this out wear it on your skin because everybody's body aura is different so what smells like something on me may not smell the same on you. So I would suggest you go test these out, get some samples and try these out for yourself. Okay, you guys, so next up we have Mason Francis Kirk DeJohn Baccarat Rouge 540. And this I feel like is another fragrance that most likely is in everyone's perfume collection. This is pricey. That, that I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know ahead of time. This is pricey. I'm pretty sure you guys know that if you don't, now you know. But here's the secret. You can get this for about $50 to $100 cheaper if you actually purchase any Mason Francis Kirk DeJohn fragrances through the website and not through a third party. So not through Saks, not through Nordstrom's, not through any of those external you know, websites or department stores. But I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. It's like a burnt, sugary, sweet, unisex, uh, rich, filled with richness even when you spray this on 
you're gonna feel rich. I only spray this when I feel my riches. You know what I'm saying? When I'm giving Chanel vibes, when I'm giving, you know, a little shmoney. You know what I'm saying? This is what I spray on. I love this so much, but since everyone typically does have this in their collection, you know, you, you automatically know what it is first sprayed on, you know? And I wanna be different, I wanna be unique. Of course, I still love it. It's, this is still a classic. Since the past two years, this has been in every song, this has been in everybody's wish list, everybody's favorites, and I can agree. But to mix it up, to give you your own uniqueness, I personally would recommend layering this bad boy. I feel like it smells good with anything. It is unisex. Once again, this is back for our Rouge 540. Okay, so the newest fragrance in my collection is this Twilly by Hermes. And I cannot wait to wear this. This is a great spring and summer scent. I adore it so much. This is not for the light heart. You have to really put this on if you spray this. Like, you have to really wear the fragrance and don't allow the fragrance to wear you. That's what anything you do in life. You know, it's very mature, it's very grown, it's very sexy. It gives me very like businesswoman vibes, brunch vibes. I cannot wait to wear this with a cute button down, crisp button down. Ugh, I cannot wait to wear this. And the packaging is just so adorable as well. It has the Hermes Twilly on it, like how, you know, you would wrap the little Twilly around the purse handles. That's what it's giving, or as a scarf. Um, if you kind of could tell, it kind of reminds me of like a person with a hat, the Twilly, Twilly around the neck, and then this is like the bottle is like the body. Um, I don't know if anyone else sees that. Let me know in the comment section down below if that's the kind of vibes you're getting. This is very potent. I feel like you really only have to get away with wearing two sprays. I also feel like if you are very mature and older of age, or you just have a very older aura to you, I would highly suggest this as well. Once again, this is not for the youth. If you're very immature, this is not for you, babe. Find something else. But once again, I love this so much. Hmm. What else do I wanna show? Oh, no ma'am. Let's not, sweetie. I pay a lot for this perfume. Sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys, next up we have Scandal by Night by Jean Paul Gaultier. And I, y'all, the bottle just speaks for itself. Like, I don't even have to do talking for this bottle. This is honey in a bottle, literally. I love it so much. This is another fragrance that you really only need one spray. I overspray, but this, I try not to. I really have to remind myself, like, Asia, you're gonna choke somebody, like, literally. You're gonna choke somebody. It's so sweet, it's so seductive. It, it's sweet, but it has a bit of depth to it. Like, it, it's, it's deep, it's romantic, it's alluring, it's scandalous, it's everything in a bottle. I love this so much. Anybody can pull this off, any age. I feel like you don't have to be a specific type of person to pull this off. If you guys haven't smelled this yet, go smell this out. It smells so delicious. Next up, we have Valentino Born in Roma. And a little backstory behind this. I smelled this maybe, I think, 2018 when it first came out, or 2019, I think 2018. And I fell in love with this. And ever since 2018, 2019, it was on my list. And I finally got it and I don't like it. I don't know, but the bottle is beautiful. It just has the classic Valentino studs going all around the bottle. Beautiful, beautiful studs at the neck of the bottle. I don't reach for it as, as much as I thought I would. I really don't reach for it. You don't have to be in a specific season or in a specific occasion to wear this. This can be everyday scent, perfect for work atmosphere, lunch, brunch, dinner, evening, an everyday scent. I feel like this is like every girl. Okay, this is Tiffany & Co. I don't know the actual name of this. It is just in this crystal gem bottle. So beautiful, so classic, so chic and 
cut nice I love this bottle I'm not really the floral girl I got this for Christmas so I really couldn't wear it in the winter it'll be too cold and crisp but this is going to be so lovely for the spring and summer seasons. Um, a little backstory about this. When I first smelled this, the two times I did smell this in the store, and one of my friends, she had this, and I didn't like it at all. I feel like it was too fresh, too floral. I don't know, but the, the, the good thing about your nose, and it can also be a bad thing, <laughs> is your nose and your scent changes. Like, you may like one scent one day, the next day you're like, oh, you know what, I'm not really feeling this. And this grew on me. I actually really, really do like it. I enjoy it and I can't wait to wear this. So classic and crisp and it still at the same time has a hint of seduction to it. It's very mature. This is Tiffany & Co. Y'all, this is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue and YouTube, you fooled me. You got me. I do not like this at all. I bought this last Christmas and I sprayed this maybe, I don't know, three times to try to get a feel if I like it. And every time I wear it, it just makes me so nauseous. Like it really makes me sick to my stomach. I think this is in the toilet. This is not the perfume, this is in the toilet. It's too fresh, it's too lemony, it's too zesty. It kind of reminds me of like cleaning. Ugh, like it just makes me so sick to my stomach every time I wear this. Every girl was raving about this, this and, a, this and a third. Men loved it, women loved it. Love, I hate this fragrance so much. This is probably maybe the only perfume that I just hate. I hate this perfume so much. Do you guys like Dolce & Gabbana My Blue? Comment down below if you guys actually like this. You know, everybody knows is different. Everybody's body chemistry is different. On me, it smells like a fruity, it smells like pine saw, the lemon edition. I can't, I can't, <laughs> I cannot, literally. Can't do it, I can't. Next, we have my baby Hypnotic Poison by Christian Dior, one of my favorites. I love this so much, so seducing, so sexy, so alluring, so delicious, it smells Ugh, so delightful. I have heard people say off the bat this like first spray off the bat this smells like Play-Doh. I get that a little bit. I can see what people are saying but I like it. Like I like it. And once you let it wear on you it'll smell so hypnotic and hypnotizing and alluring and sexy and seductive, sensual gourmand, caramel, ugh, it just smells so amazing. So give this a try if you don't already have this in your collection, I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Another one that I suggest getting is the Poison Girl. That's the next one I wanna grab out of the Christian Dior um, line. I really, really like that one. So if you guys don't like this one, try that one out. Coco Mademoiselle is another fragrance that I feel like every girl should have in their Collection, this is a very florally sophisticated woman. You know, this is a girl who just goes to Rodeo Drive just for fun to shop and go to brunch with her friends every single day. Yachts, a business girl who has her own business. It smells amazing, I love it so much. This is a scent that I would wear in the spring and the summer more so than the fall and the winter. So I haven't really got a chance to wear this. I did purchase this last well, previous fall, and I, so far I like it out the bottle and sprayed it once on myself and I loved it throughout the day, so I really just cannot wait to wear this bottle. I have this in the 1.2 fluid ounce. I don't like any other Chanel fragrances. This is probably the only one I will ever have in my collection, and if I like this enough, I will probably purchase another one, but anything else, I, right now my nose isn't a fan of it, so. Yeah. This is Rihanna Rebelle Le Fleur and I love this. I know I have been saying this. I know, I know, I know, I know. But y'all, this is going to be the spring and summer that we are really officially outside, okay? So I wasn't able to wear them last season. I was able to wear a little bit towards the summer, the end of summer. And it's just like a coconut paradise and it's 
so sexy. This would be perfect for the heat. I'm telling you, you guys. And this is inexpensive. This is, for this to be a celebrity scent, this is amazing. It's long lasting. The longevity on this is amazing. Now, you can overspray this, because I have. And uh, it just smells so freaking good. The bottle is supposed to be like the stiletto upside down. I see it, but at the same time, if I probably didn't tell you guys, you probably would have never known. You probably just would have thought it was just some like abstract type of design on the bottle. Uh, if you guys don't want to break the bank this spring and summer, get your hands on this. Rihanna seems to hit with any and everything she does. <laughs> I will be spraying this. This will probably be my signature scent for the summer. So my high school signature scent was Black Opium by YSL. And I'm, this is a classic. This is another classic that everyone either has in their closet or seems to like or love. <laughs> um, this is like my third bottle of this. I will probably, once I run out of what I have left, I will probably have it just to have my collection to bring back memories. Some things I just feel like, you know, you don't want to get rid of or you, not, you don't want to not have it because it brings back so many memories. This was like my first big girl purchase for perfume. It was this right here, y'all. Crazy story. Long story short, I sprayed this on one day and I was sitting next to somebody and they said, oh my God, you smell so good. You smell edible. You smell like caramel. I'm like, okay, wow, you are you have a really good nose. In my head, I'm like, wow, you have a really good nose. Like coffee, caramel galore in this bottle. And they said, you smell so edible. You smell so edible. And they literally bit me on my shoulder. I kid you not. They bit me on my shoulder. That was crazy, but I mean, if a fragrance can do this to you, that's what I'm saying, like, it just brings back so many memories. I had so many crazy memories, fun memories, all types of memories with this perfume that I just don't wanna let go of. Although I don't spray it, it's not my really go-to. I just can't seem to get rid of it. I can't, like this will for probably forever be in my collection, even if I have to read. Uh, that was annoying. This will probably be in my collection even if I have to repurchase it. Once again, this is Black Opium YSL. I know a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with this. This is like Baccarat Rouge. How everybody had this or everybody has this in their collection and everybody moved on from this and went to <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540. Baccarat Rouge 540 is the new Black Opium and before Black Opium, it was flower bomb like every girl had flower bomb in their collection this is another little sample that i have a flower bomb little cute i mean it's florally sweet i like it but i wouldn't purchase a big bottle of this it's okay to me i don't know what the hype is really about next up we have mark jacobs decadence and i used to be obsessed with this perfume as well um the bottle is to die for there and this purse type of design i love it so freaking much the bottle is chef's kiss the bigger bottle has like the the handles of a purse with a tassel on the end and the smaller bottle is just it mimics a regular purse with like this crocodile or like um snake this is not crocodile this is more like a snake skin type of leather on the uh top of the bottle a lot of guys like this fragrance on me i mean i do love it it's very spicy it's very fresh and crisp but it has like some type of darkness to it which i love i love that i love unique scents i probably have to give this another try it has like this um cucumber pickly type of scent like it's hidden but i smell it i mean i do like it i do but I probably would, I'm probably gonna give this another try in the spring and summer season. The next fragrance I have in my collection is Carolina Herrera Good Girl in this gorgeous stiletto bottle. This is another fragrance people rave about. Um, I showed this, I showed this on my TikTok and the video went bizarre. Everybody was like, how do you spray the bottle? How do you spray the bottle? So like I showed in my TikTok video, the sprayer is at the top. This is only if you have the bigger size. And I do have this in, I think the biggest size, which is a 2.7 fluid ounce. So in the small, smaller bottles, you just take this off and you spray it. But in the bigger bottles, 
the sprayer is up here so you don't have to take anything off and you just spray mm. i love this so much i put a lot of people on to this scent this is very potent you only need one to two sprays you don't want to overdo it i have overdone this a lot it's just so grown and sexy like, as you guys can tell from the bottle the stiletto the darkness of it uh it smells so good i don't know why they call this good girl this definitely needs to be called bad girl and this will probably forever also be in my collection just because the bottle is stunning and it's just a scent that brings back memories as well i have a lot of great memories from this um, fragrance so i'll probably never get rid of it try this out as well um a lot of people love this perfume but at the same time a lot of people don't love it as much as me and other people to each his own you know i'm something i may love you guys may hate comment down below if you guys ever tried carolina herrera good girl and what are your thoughts on it because i do see mixed reviews so i just want to hear you guys opinions let me know if you love it you like it whatever i want to hear it all right next up we have giorgio armani c and this is just the original this was my mom's and she didn't like it so she gave it to me i personally love it it's very warm cozy like laid up by the fireplace this can also be a signature scent it's a safe scent you this is something that you can wear in the workplace to church to brunch out to dinner this is a very versatile fragrance this is also a fragrance i personally would wear this in the fall and winter because it does have a more coated warmth to it rather than a airy flowy scent that's just my personal opinion but you can wear this in the spring and the summer but when i smell this i think of like being coated up by the fireplace and like christmas and fall and autumn this is another og scent that i'm pretty sure everybody has in their collection if you don't have it i suggest you go smell this at your local department store Woo, y'all we are almost down we are down to five <laughs> this is an, another og y'all have a lot of og fragrances i still don't have many many others that i want that are og fragrances but this is a start for me it's, it's honestly a lot it, it is i honestly have more fragrances in storage but for the sake of me wanting to get this video out i've held out long enough so we're gonna work what we got okay this is Pink Sugar by, who is this by? I think the name starts with the A. But this is very cheap. If you're if you're just getting into the fragrance world, I suggest purchasing this. Purchasing this. You can pick this up at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. You can order this online. I think Walmart even sells these. Sugar galore. It's like a burnt sugar. It's like the, I'm not gonna say it's like the Baccarat Rouge, but it's Baccarat Rouge vibes. So, I mean, if you don't want to break the bank by buying, you know, the real thing, just get this. This is probably a scent that I'll probably never get rid of again, once again, because this is something we wore in high school, middle school, leading up to the big girl purchases. You get compliments on this. I got so many compliments on this in the workplace. <sighs> I love it so much. This is, this is one that has never let me down. Been there with me through thick and thin, and it still is a rider, so. If you guys are interested, go check this out at your local department. Well, yeah, your local department stores, Raw, TJ Maxx, etc. This is Christian Noir by Versace. And this is the only Versace I have in my collection. And hear me out. Don't come for me in the comments. I don't want to hear it. But this is the only Versace fragrance that I like. Men and women. I do not like it at all. I mean, Dylan Blue is okay, but it's really not my cup of tea. They rave about that also on YouTube, if you guys haven't noticed already, but that's none of my business. Mmm, this is another coconutty. It's very unique. This doesn't smell like the Rihanna LaFleur. This is more of like a hot girl, you know, hot girl summer, beach, you know, tan lines, bronze. You know, that's what that gives. This is more of like a mysterious girl. This is this is a mysterious fragrance. If you guys wanna smell it, if you guys like any other Versace scents, comment down below because I have a hard time liking Versace fragrances. Next up I have um, by Terry Mugler, Angel Muse. Yes, this is Angel Muse. And this is a very gourmand 
chocolatey scent. Ugh, it smells so unique. The patchouli in here is amazing. It's like a dirty, mm, I don't want to say like a dirty chocolate, but it, it has, it's very earthy. Um, I would wear this for the fall and winter seasons only, but granted, you can wear this whenever you like. This would be per perfect for date night. This was in my Valentine's date night video. The bottle is amazing. This is beautiful. His stuff is always so unique and different from everyone else's. That's why I love the house of Terry Mugler, but ugh, smells so freaking good. Okay, so now we have Zara Red Vanilla. You guys, don't sleep on Zara perfume. Zara actually has some amazing dupes or like inspired fragrances that range from anywhere from $10 to $20, depending on the fluent ounce. I used to love this. I put this in my bag, spray this on the go. This is also a fragrance that I feel like it's very versatile. You can wear this any day, anywhere, anytime. A signature scent, this is a safe blind buy if you do just purchase this in store when you're in line, because that's what I do. I just, when I'm in line, that long Zara line. Oof, I don't even want to get irritated, but. When I'm just sitting there, well, when I'm standing there in line, I, I don't have anything else to do but feed my crave, which is fragrances. And I'm I'm stopping, I'm stopping. I'm trying to stop or hold off. Since it is cheap, you do have to spray this on a lot. The longevity on this isn't great, but it's still wonderful for an everyday scent. If you don't wanna break the bank and you just want something quick, easy to throw in your bag, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful fragrance. I would recommend this. There's a couple other Zara fragrances that I wanna try, but I'm trying to break my bad habit <laughs> in my addiction. All right, last but not least is Jimmy Choo Fever. And this is another fragrance. Story behind this, I used to work at Macy's. They would have me in the fragrance section because they knew I love fragrances and I knew a lot about it and I could make sales, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. So to save my coin and my perfume, you thought I was gonna work in a department store and not spray their perfume? You think I'm gonna spray my perfume every time I come into work? <laughs> no. <laughs> I would make sure I have a little oil on my body, a little Vaseline on my body, something to grip the oils from the fragrances on display, and I would spray, okay? Yeah, I don't know if that may sound bad. A lot of people do it why not and it also helps get a feel you know it puts money in their pocket i purchased this from them you know what i'm saying so i mean hey i want to wear it before i wanted to buy it but <laughs> um i used to wear this every single day at macy's before work on my shift during my shift whatever and i purchased it and now i don't reach for it at all it's very beautiful it's a very beautiful scent i have not reached for it ever since i purchased it i probably spray this at least maybe like five to six times. Once again, you guys, I do have a lot of fragrances, so it's kind of hard for me to just spray and get to the bottom of all of my fragrances. And plus, I know I'm not the only one. When you see a dent in your perfume, that breaks my heart. Like the dent in my Baccarat Rouge. Ooh, I didn't even know it was that low. That kills me. That kills me. Fragrance lovers, you guys know, as soon as you see a dent in your fragrance, it's just like, oh my gosh, like now I have to go buy another one because what am I doing? I'm spraying too much. That is it. That is all of my fragrances. This is my little perfume tray. I got it for my birthday, two tier. This has gold hardware with some black and gold marbling on glass marbling if you guys are interested in that i will have the link for you guys down in the description down below don't forget if you like videos like this go check out my other videos i have plenty of other perfume videos or if you're into fashion i have loads of videos and hauls and try on hauls for you guys i love y'all so much thank you for supporting me and thank you for clicking on today's video and i will see y'all in my next one bye you guys